Hi, I'm Tamitha Scove with your solar storm forecast for the week of April 19th. The sun has been a buzz of activity this week, including two M-class flares that have launched Earthward-directed solar storms. Now when we look more closely at those M flares, bam, right there, there's the M1 that happened late on the 16th from Region 2035. Now, Region 2036 started becoming more active. You start seeing it flaring a little bit more. Boom, it lets off an ejection, and then another BAM right there. There's the 7.3. The thing was huge. You can see in the close-up, there is a dimming region as this thing ejection lifts off, so there is an Earthward-directed solar storm. Now, switching to our flare indicator, you can see there really hasn't been much M-flare activity until that M7.3, and that's because this region is growing incredibly rapidly. Now, when we actually look at the blast waves coming off of the sun, you can see this thing is huge, it's massive, and the wave propagates literally all the way across the surface of the sun on the southern hemisphere. So it makes you think that this thing is big, but that it's probably going to go south of us. Switching to coronagraphs, you can see that solar storm being blown out to three solar radii. It looks like it's pretty much going south of us. The halo is marked in red here. You don't really see much going to the north. Now here's that halo again, but when we switch out to 15 solar radii, you can see there really is a lot of material going both north and south of us. So this looks more like a direct hit than we actually thought before. Now, switching to our prediction model, this is Enlil. The top panel is density, the bottom panel is velocity. You can see those two solar storms coming out, the second of which is actually two solar storms that have merged. So we plan to get hit by three solar storms in kind of a rapid ba 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 succession. So expecting the hit to start around the late and on the 19th into the 20th. So expect that your GPS uh, units will give you some issues. Satellite, internet, and uh, phone might have some problems over the next couple days until these solar storms pass through. Now, because of that M7.3 flare, we are in the midst of a proton radiation storm. It has reached NOAA's S1 minor storm threat alert, and it's affecting high latitude navigation. But don't worry, the astronauts are safe. The highest energy stuff you see in the blue and green lines are actually decaying now, so they're okay. But anybody who might be a high-risk airline flight passenger who has to go to an, a long-duration international flight that flies over the poles and in these regions, please make sure you take this into consideration in your flight plans over the next few days until this dies down, until these solar storms pass us. So what else does the sun have in store for us this week? Well, these are synoptic charts that show all of the active regions all over the sun. The two vertical lines denote the east and west limbs, and they bracket the Earth field of view. Now, when we put these charts into motion, you can see there's just a ton of active regions that are transiting the Earth view part of the disk right now, and that active cluster continues to grow. Especially if you watch around region 2036, you see some really new growth. That's where that uh, M7.3 flare occurred, and that's going to continue to grow and probably give us more activity. Also, so on the, the east side of the limb, you actually have two new active regions that are coming into view now, region 44 and 45. Right now, they're stable, but they may start being um, uh, players for us if they continue to grow. And as we return to the disk, you can see the Earth side is absolutely smothered in active regions this week. And as this fast-growing cluster continues to rotate to the west, we will have a continued chance for proton radiation storms and with these M flares. NOAA is giving us about a 60% chance over the next three days to get M flares. And then, of course, we've got two new regions that are rotating into view, uh, so those could be active players in the coming days as well. Now, I just wanted to show you how fast these regions have been growing over the Earth disk this week. You can see this is region 2035, and you can see 2036 beginning to pop, and all of these little white lightning, that's electromagnetic energy that's feeding back and causing these M flares. So this is why we're going to have a 60% chance of M flares even over the coming days and as these things continue to rotate off the west limb. So this week looks to be pretty exciting. We have multiple solar storms on the way, including one that's about to hit us momentarily. So happy Easter weekend, everybody. On the bad side, expect GPS and traffic service issues. Also, if you have satellite internet or phone, you could have some service issues with that. And then you ham operators, you poor things, you're going to be slammed on top of the solar storm with this proton radiation storm that's going to cause communication problems for you over the next 48 hours or so. But on the good side, expect some chance for some gorgeous aurora that should brighten your uh, Easter holiday. I'm Tamitha Scove. Thank you for watching.